The Wuppertal Institute is now doing more than sustainability research. We are doing transformation research and transformative research. That means it goes a bit wider. So it is really about changing uh, the systems, the social technical systems, and cha changing uh, the, so the societal environment, the landscapes as well. Uh, and what we are doing in these institutes is we do a lot of applied research working in <laughs> projects like TIDE. Uh, and many others at the national, at the European, and as well at the, at the supranational level for international bodies. Uh, but we are doing as well a lot of theoretical work uh, because we are something in between academic research and, uh, and uh, supporting uh, uh, projects and, and doing project, project uh, work. So I will give you uh, some short glimpses from a theoretical perspective, and I hope these interventions will help you to structure during uh, your discussions, during your dialogues, uh, uh, a bit your thinking and gives, gives something like a, 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 a coordination uh, among what you are talking uh, and, and discussing today. Um, the, two, the, the, the two approaches are coming from innovation theory and from the, the newer one, which is called transition theory. You may know all this type. It's uh, quite classical. It's a so-called hype cycle of innovation. And uh, since 2000, it is a double hype cycle. Because uh, people came up with the idea that we have most of our projects we are doing in cities, we are doing uh, in industry, the dem demonstrators, the pilots, uh, they have such a first phase. And then they may start to disappear and we have quite a valley to overcome if this innovation diffuses into the next stage where it, where it is uh, uh, um, deployed more broadly. And this has a lot of reasons. And uh, meanwhile there is as well a very proactive discussion about this valley of death, which is called discussion or a, a sort of research on so-called, using so-called waiting games. That means to find the right windows of opportunities where you come in and where you implement your innovation. And this is in the political context of a city where public administration is as well dependent and always in a dialogue with uh, the political body and part of the political body as well. The city councils, etc., a very important issue. So really to think how you organize uh, your innovation because you have this valley of death. The second approach, which is maybe even more helpful to structure thinking um, is uh, as well very new. It's from 2002. And it's a, co a so-called multi-level approach coming from transition theory and, and transition, transition management. Um, this is such a Dutch school of innovation or better systems innovation thinking. And there was a guy or two guys actually scales and and girls and shot, uh, and they were n doing nothing else than, than looking on past examples, how innovation emerged in a niche and then it spread into a regime and later on it uh, changed the whole landscapes. They had actually a transport examples. It was the example among the, the steam engine boat and the wind jammer. Why was the, the sailing, where the sailing ships, uh, where did they disappear? And what, what was the reason for? And the concept is attached a bit to a field which is called evolutionary economics. So uh, a sort of economic where you have a, from natural science, you look on, 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 on evolution and, and they tried to, to implement the concept, Darwin's concept, evolutionary concept, actually in economy. How the novel is created and emerging and, and diffusing and deploying or enrolling, I think is more, much better world in, uh, much better word in the world. And 
This is the so-called, not the technical, which is, has much to do with the innovation, but the social technical discussion. So when you have uh, innovation in a niche, you have a pilot or demonstration in the city to bring it into a regime, uh, you have to, to do a lot more. Maybe you need as well some public, public uh, administration reforms. So in many cases you have to change some legal, some legal, some, some legal rules or some legal issues. I know from cities you have, uh, when you go into, into these novel parking uh, spaces for bicycles, you have a lot of problems. You have to change some rules in some of the rules you have at the city, at the city level. And this is much, much, much more difficult to achieve. So you need the dialogue, the stakeholder dialogues, all what you are doing to bring the innovation on the social technical, or to, to have the social technical sphere as well attached and bring the innovation from the niche into a regime. And even more difficult when this should spread in the overall landscape, then it is a dynamic which is uh, very self-emergent. So a lot of things are happening. Uh, a landscape we are suffering today is the motorization of transport, which was uh, a great thing in the 70s. So traveling into the blue, we called it. Uh, to have the chance to travel wherever you want, you, to use your car. And this was changing the landscape. And now we, have, we are implementing a lot of other regimes, alternative regimes to come out or change this landscape. And in political science, there is a, a, a new term. It's called, uh, I think, a lot of us are using the term complex situation. I like the political scientist word much more. It's called wicked problems or super wicked problems. <laughs> and there is a category, because it's quite an old term. When you, when you go into the internet and you look for this word, uh, it, is, it is something, it is a problem what you can only tackle uh, or achieve with dialogues. And dialogues on a very broad level. You have to discuss even with your citizens, not only the stakeholders. You have really to, to, to do huge dialogue rounds to change, uh, to change the landscape. And what we are planning in the Wuppertal Institute now is in several cities some, something which is called in German transformation laboratories, where we have a huge citizen involvement in such changing regimes, for example, in the, in, the, in the transport sector. I think you know the term as well. It's called in other, in, in, in other uh, areas, it's called living lab, or, or, or these, these, new, these new approaches, how to do research, or this type of research, uh, and coordination, which, is, which, which shall lead to something like transition and transformation. And the third, um, approach I, I wanted to think, bring in, I was looking uh, in preparing the speech on uh, a range of future studies. So what I do, uh, normally I do a, a lot of meta-analysis or did a, let, a, a lot, lot of meta-analysis in the last two or three years about these many future studies, these many scenario studies in the world on urban transport, but as well on long distance freight transport and other transport areas. And uh, when you go into and you take the storylines out of the scenarios, you have quite similar ideas and opinions of experts. And I listed some of these uh, storylines or they call, we call it normally tri trends and drivers, or drivers and trends, because we are looking for that, and then we take these trends and drivers and, and are drafting or sketching out a consistent scenario to have it uh, a better, to, to have a, a better overview or a more complex narrative. Um, but you see, I, I, I took these because you have it in, in your clusters. So you have the pricing mechanism. Um, but it's not about, not, it's not alone about pricing. 
So I guess you have, in all of your cities, you have a, a lot of discussion about, about other issues like budget reforms, like we, 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 we have in, in, in Germany such a concept which is called third user co-financing. That means that large, large uh, shopping centers, they, they, have, they have as well to pay and to co-finance transport infrastructure which is going to their sites. So, or uh, tickets for citizens. So I, I, I've heard even that in, in some other countries in Australia, so it, is, it was thought that the people are not only owning their houses, but as well the streets before, in front of their houses, in some, in some uh, areas or in some, where, where you have only, only housing or something, something like that. Not, not, new con not always new concepts, but concepts re-emerging again how to finance, because infrastructure uh, grows older. It's at this end, we have to, we have to, uh, to, 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 to renovate the substance. It's, it's, really, it's really a lot of, a lot of problems we have and, and how to rearrange our financial instruments in the cities. So if you discuss about pricing mechanisms, you are using area charging, inner city charging, sector charging, whatever, uh, I think you can, be, you can be broader. You can think as well on other financial instruments, like this third, third use of funding, financing. Uh, sharing practices, I think this is now well known that we have a good chance at the moment with car sharing and bike sharing systems which get better and more networked with public transport systems um, that we have, uh, especially with, with, uh, with younger age people, that, we, that there is something like a, a, a peak car uh, can be observed, that a lot of people, they cannot afford a car, they do not want to afford a car actually. And so they, um, they, uh, use, they are strongly using sharing practices. And uh, civil movement actions uh, I brought in because uh, I had no better word for all these new approaches that people start to do urban gardening, communitarian settings in cities. And it has sometimes as well a lot to do with transport. So they are using these uh, cyclo, cyclo logistic systems, uh, cyclo bicycles and, and uh, to transport and, and, and they are share as well uh, uh, the bicycles, uh, the, 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 um, the logistic bicycles, etc. Cycling practices are further enrolling and taking benefit in urban regions. Um, in Asian scenario studies, you have not the bicycles al at alone in, you have, have as well uh, what I call, w call ULF, such micro car systems. So you have now more and more these tricycles, for example, these cargo, cargo tricycles or tricycles where you can have your children in and so on, and how to treat them on your bicycle lanes, which is, for example, in, in Germany or in the German-speaking world, still a bit of a problem. I do not know how it is uh, in other countries around Europe. But this can do a lot of change. Someone told me from uh, a, a province of Austria, from Vorarlberg, that people, that you can really see a change with the second car in a family. Younger families are buying a, a Pedelec, an e-bike, and they have, they have a, a, a carriage behind it because they can do the shopping, they can bring the children to school in these larger urban areas. They have in this area, but they have in this area as well this, the infrastructure. They have very well bicycle lanes so, so that there is not a, a safety problem on crowded roads. And this is changing a lot. And the reason is very simple. These families, these young families, have not the money to afford a second car so easily. And never an electric car 
which costs 35,000 euros or 20,000 euros or something like that. So they buy a Pedelec for two or 3,000 euros. They have a first car and they use it as the second car system. It is really changing. So you have really a benefit out of that. Um, Real-time information and simple access to public modes. Uh, I think we have all these systems. We discussed it uh, at the last height workshop in Budapest. Um, and at the moment, for our purpose and where we still have problems, I think less at the city level, at the urban level, but in this, I have a lot of problem actually with it in long distance traveling, uh, that the synchronized traveling is not working. When there is a disruption and a delay, then you get problems. You do not get your next, co next connections, connection. And this is what we are, what we want due to our, to our thinking, to our very full timetables. We have to know when we start and when we come when we, when, when we arrive uh, at a particular place. And then you have a lot of these, the ICT, the, the ICT or now they call themselves communication and information technology people because communication is now more important than information. Uh, and uh, they have these new devices which are interfaces. You have the Google classes. There are now 2,000 test users in US who are having these classes and they are using it for, for uh, in, 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 in daily life. Um, and you have this uh, very, very or, or st steadily changing data access, data processing uh, technologies that you really can do a lot with, with a lot more, you can lot, handle a lot more data. And so you can improve the systems and this will go on and this has a, a very fast speed uh, to go on. I, I told this example for electromobility uh, uh, already, which uh, was with the cycling practices with the e-pedelec, that it's really very crucial what household budget people have to have an electromobile as a second car or you have uh, a good chance to bring these electric vehicles into company fleets. Um, even in Switzerland, someone told me people can only afford a Renault Twizy they cannot afford the 30,000 or most of them. So the, the Renault Twizy or in US, someone told me uh, these uh, Nissan, Nissans which are outside, they have a quite a good uptake. So the production is, is really, really going on very, very strongly uh, because US people at a particular level, they have much, a much higher household budget than ourselves in Europe. And public transport, uh, a simple, a simple uh, uh, notion I read in several of these studies is that you have now these, these convergence among tramways and light rail systems. These light rails which are something like a tramway and going into inner cities, which started years ago, but now it's, it's a standard. And electrobuses in between to do to do the shorter distances. This is now discussed as a new or or very very effective hybrid buses. You can discuss this in your in your clusters. I wanted wanted to open only a bit the scene, the opportunity to look into and how to structure and how to look on your dialogues. I think a conclusion. The valley of death. Remember when you look on your innovations, look as well on the valley of death and discuss it and how uh, to overcome it can be very broad, it can be deep and it's contextual. So it may be in Rotterdam completely different than in another city. Social technical systems or this social technical view is very important. Sometimes very simple practices where you have investments for maybe much more useful uh, and, easy, and easier to achieve than, than, than the large technological things as an innovation. So innovation, so we have at the moment a very broad discussion on all sorts on, on innovation. We talk a lot about social innovation as well. And what is social innovation? It's innovation together with the citizen, and it's much cheaper than uh, having a technical innovation, having to, or, or having to procure a technical innovation. 
Nietzsche's two regimes shifts, I told that already, are wicked and complex. You have to have reforms, you have to change the institutional arrangements in the regimes. You have to think on that as well. You have to have the dialogue among the public administration, among the policy side and the political side. You have to involve the stakeholders, otherwise you will not make it. And coming at the end, on the <coughs> land, at the landscape level, this is really super wicked. You have to change, you have to, have to change the culture. It's, it's very fluid. The, political, the way how to work with it politically is a process, an ongoing process, an ongoing dialogue. It's not the simple problem where you can set up goals and targets and then you achieve these goals and targets. You see it very simply, one of the most thrilling, super wicked problems at the moment is climate change. We have now the negotiations in Warsaw again, and it's an ongoing dialogue, although we have targets and objectives and goals. But still, it stays this sort of problem, and I think we do what we can, and we can do even better in our environments to, to, to go or to, to achieve this sustainability in having more coordination and really bringing all innovations and these transitions into action. So I hope I could it was possible to inspire you a bit <laughs> for that. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you a fruitful discussion in the afternoon.